हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक अग्रवाल कंसल्टेंट क्रिटिकल केयर इन नारायण सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल टुडे आई बी स्पीकिंग अ ब्रीफ ऑन डेंगू सो व्हाट इज डेंगू डेंगू इज अ वायरल इन्फेक्शन दैट इज कॉज बाय इन्फेक्शन बाय आर्बो वायरस इट हैज डिफरेंट सब टाइप्स डेंगू टाइप वन टू थ्री एंड फोर An infection with one serotype doesn't confer immunity against the second one. In fact, infection with one serotype increases the severity when we get infected by the second serotype. When we talk about how it is transmitted, it is transmitted by infected female mosquito Aedes aegypti and rarely by Aedes albopictus. When we talk about the geographical distribution it is mostly seen in tropical and subtropical region in the world signs and symptoms occurs usually within 5 to 10 days after the bite of the mosquito signs and symptoms may vary from mild fever to high grade fever retrovital pain joint pain and headache so whenever the patient with dengue comes there are three groups of people group a are those who can have food and take feeding at home so that can be managed at home patient who cannot take feed or fluids at home they need to be admitted in hospital and give and give iv injection of fluids these are group b group c are those who are in severe shock and requires icu admission for further management so usually these patients have mild to moderate fever but patient who has severe dengue usually have leakage from the capillaries during this leakage from capillaries there is also leakage of platelets this leads to increase in increase of chances of bleeding which may manifest as disorientation epistaxis bleeding during vomitus severe abdominal pain hematuria etc so whenever we when have a patient with dengue the investigation that we need to do is dengue ns1 which is positive in the initial 5 to 7 days in dengue ig when igm which is more specific is positive after 3 to 4 days and can be seen positive up to 12 to 14 days dengue igg is seen is seen in chronic patients treatment is pure analgesic in the form of paracetamol we avoid nsaids and we need to give plenty of fluids when it come, comes about prevention we have to make sure that prevention is the only way of avoiding dengue prevention can be done by wearing full clothing full shirt trousers having socks we need to avoid accumulation of clear water in the form of bowl in in bowl trees etc we need to prevent traveling to subtropical and tropical regions and last and last and not the least we need to stay in a well screened area in a air conditioned area thank you